local news that matters. You're watching KLBK bright and early. Welcome back on in. I am joined today by Mr. Chad Wilson. He is the owner of the famous Slayton Bakery. Thank you so much for coming today. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. I've been wanting to meet y'all forever. Um, I've, like I mentioned, heard your name for the past several years. Y'all are really iconic. So um, well, we have a, an awesome event that we're going to talk about. But first, I wanted to uh, maybe get a little history of the Slayton Bakery. Um, it's a very rich history. Yeah, so uh, we uh, started in 1923. Um, it was, uh, ownership was changed hands several times uh, in between then and whenever my grandparents bought it in 1943. And um, it stayed in our family ever since. Uh, so I've grown up in the business, uh, learned from my parents and grandparents, uh, the inner workings and um, wow, had awesome. the best mentors I could ever ask for. So wow. yeah, it's, uh, the bakery survived a lot of things over the years, a lot of economic downturns, uh, mm -hmm. you know, world wars, great depressions, wow. uh, you know, a lot of uh, civil change throughout the years and everything. So um, it's really been awesome to help carry on the tradition that, that uh, my grandparents uh, started uh, for our family in 1943. That's so cool. So what's been the secret to the survival through all these upheavals. <laughs> I think blood, sweat, and tears, it seems <laughs> like. Uh, hard work. You definitely have to be a hard worker and uh, hard-headed. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, have the tenacity to stick through with, uh, with all those challenges and everything. And, uh, you know, um, especially in the Depression and the World Wars, uh, my granddad um, had to be real creative. So uh, mm. one of the things he did was, you know, try to use supplies that he could get his hands on easily um, whenever there was uh, rationing and things like that. So one of his famous pastries was uh, uh, in World War II, the pineapple was a great flavor. It was oh. a, a big flavor and uh, it was a big shortage. And so uh, he was able to formulate a recipe where he could use squash to simulate the, the recipe of his pineapple filling and, it, and it's uh, really good. So. That is determination. What, <laughs> yeah. what was fueling their passion for keeping it up and going and, and the, you know, putting the work into the food? I think uh, family and uh, customers, you know, that's what it's all about is, is taking care of our customers. And, uh, you know, that's the fun part for us is uh, getting to know our customers, being in a small uh, community like Slayton and mm -hmm. West Texas, and, and then now taking our cookies uh, statewide. Um, through uh, grocery stores and stuff, so. And that brings me to the fact that y'all won a lot of awards. You've had um, some pretty incredible recognition just recently, 100 years, I believe, that came from the state, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Governor Abbott and then uh, the Commissioner of Agriculture just uh, recognized our uh, uh, contribution to the state of Texas for the last 100 years, so that was really neat wow. to uh, be a part of that. And then uh, a few years back, we also got a historical marker, which you can see on our uh, front porch um, when you come visit the bakery, so. Wow, and HEB, uh, there's been some awards there and mm -hmm. some uh, publications as well. Yeah, so in uh, 2015, we won HEB's uh, Quest for Texas Best. Um, we um, won first place in their competition, which is kind of like a shark tank kind of thing <laughs> for uh, the food industry, and so, uh, you know, if you uh, make it to their competition, then there's a good chance you get put on their shelves. So um, we've um, been on their shelves ever since 2015 and doing really well with them. And, um, you know, people are starting to love our product all over the state. Um, through the pandemic, we uh, was able to fill the gap where, uh, you know, some of the yellow box brands had uh, fallen off the shelf due to different things. Mm -hmm. But so we was able to step in and make sure that uh, our, our state had plenty of vanilla wafers and that was really fun and uh, something memorable for sure. That is so cool. Uh, I just love the the perseverance and the resiliency that y'all have used um, and it's become your brand, which is just fantastic. And also you're doing uh, this event for the first time. It's the uh, Banana Pudding Festival, which yeah. already <laughs> sounds delicious. Uh, <laughs> what inspired the idea for this? So we've, uh, we've been wanting to do it for quite a while. Um, one of our friends suggested it and um, you know we've just kind of had a lot of things on our plate over the years and then also a little bit afraid to, to fail at trying it but <laughs> you know it's kind of one of those entrepreneurial challenges you got to work through 
Um, but uh, we had our 100th anniversary celebration in June, and um, a lot of people that came to it was asking when we were going to have something like that again. And uh, so we thought, man, let's go ahead and try this thing. And um, so we started the first Texas Banana Pudding Festival. It'll be September 2nd from uh, 10 to 4. Uh, and it'll be right in downtown Slayton in front of the bakery. Mm -hmm. um, we'll have four different flavors of banana pudding that uh, people can try. Um, one of them will be uh, Church Lady Banana Pudding. Uh, we're naming it Church Lady Banana Pudding because uh, my grandma every Sunday after church would make banana pudding and oh. we're, we're using that recipe. So wow. would either eat that at her home or, you know, at a potluck kind of thing. And um, then we're doing a uh, whiskey banana pudding. Uh, we're doing, um, we're calling it five star uh, banana pudding and it'll have layers of uh, banana nut bread in it. Mm. So that'll be a little different. And then for folks that don't like bananas, we'll also have a, a Texas Delight, which is a chocolate and cream cheese type of a pudding. Oh my so yeah, there's a- You can't lose with any one of those. No, and we're leaving the calories out that day. So <laughs> there's no concern for that, so. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's that's perfect. Um, and so tickets are $20, right? Mm -hmm. And it covers all that. Yep, so uh, you can buy a pudding pass at the bakery in Slayton, or you can get one on slaytonbakery.com and pick it up the morning of the festival. And so uh, the uh, pass will get you uh, one of each of those flavors. Uh, also, a uh, portion of the proceeds go to uh, some charities. Um, three of them are in Slayton and one is here in Lubbock. And um, those are uh, High Point Village here in Lubbock, um, Slayton ISD's Culinary Department, the Slayton Harvey House, and the ch uh, Church Ladies Support and After s uh, School Snack Program for our um, Slayton ISD program. So. You also get a little QR code here on the card, and uh, that will take you to our website where uh, you can have the recipes th um, for the banana puddings that we're making that day. So if you find something that you just love, want to make it for the holidays or something like that, then you'll have access to those. I thought that was so sweet and unique that y'all are sharing your recipes. There's no secrets here. It's it's just generosity for the whole community to enjoy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, you know, we're trying to, you know, encourage people to use our uh, vanilla wafers and our ginger snaps, uh, which are going to be in the, uh, in all of the puddings. Um, so that's another reason we're doing the festival is, uh, you know, we make what we believe is the best vanilla wafer in Texas. So we thought, well, we need to start uh, banana pudding festival. I can't wait to try it because, you know, vanilla wafers in general are so much nostalgia around them. So, um, all right, Chad, thank you so much for coming today and sharing a little bit. Super excited to have y'all. Uh, so, and we will be covering that. So we'll also uh, post this online, this video, so folks can have the information to go on out and try uh, one of those incredible desserts. Uh, once again, Chad, thank you so much for coming. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. <laughs> all right. Uh, we got some commercials, but we'll be right back.